when speaking with a business owner, there are occasions where they don't clearly understand what the proper role of an accounting professional is. In fact, they've heard terms or roles that they're not necessarily familiar with. Remember, these aren't accounting professionals. This isn't their work. And so they're great at what they do. They know their business and their industry. But when it comes to bookkeeping, full charge bookkeeping, accounting, tax preparer, certified professional, public accountant, a CPA, an enrolled agent, EA. Uh, wh who are these people? What do they all do? Do they do the same things? Is this just the same title for different people that do the same role? They're just not clear on these. So let me take a moment now and just really give some, I think, layman understandings that you can use as you're talking about what you do and how it relates to other things that they may know or expect. So let's talk about this as an umbrella, kind of a overstretching umbrella and that basically means everything that's going on within the company transactional uh, with transactions is going to be bookkeeping. So accounts payables, receivables, payroll, recording all those transactions. That's the role of the full charge bookkeeper. And they're basically taking all those transactions, recording them from chart of accounts through to the financial statements to prepare the reports each month for that client. So the monthly, quarterly, yearly reports, the income statement, balance sheet, uh, cash flow statements. That's what the full charge bookkeeper is doing. Now, at that point, they're done. The full charge bookkeeper is basically making sure that all the, re all the transactions are recorded, that all the uh, reports are correct, all the information is there. That's great. To go to the accountant level, what we're then doing is we're looking at now the analysis and interpretation of those reports. The accountant is coming in and looking at what does that information tell us about the business? What are the current ratios, liquidity ratios? What are the budgets and the forecasts and the trends that we can deduce from this information? Are we meeting forecasts? Are we exceeding forecasts? And then as for the accounting role, it's now acting as an interpreter to help translate this information that is numerical to the business owner in a way that they can understand and use. So basically, the role of the accountant is to help communicate this information in a way that now in a conversation, the business owner can hear the story that they're experiencing in the business through the numbers, meaning the story resonates. It makes sense because what they know is happening in the company because they're experiencing it makes sense through the numbers. Okay. Now, the next thing is that of a CPA. They are able to come in as an outside third party and certify the financials. They're able to come in and do an audit and in performing that audit, verify that the bookkeeper has done everything correctly. The accountant is uh, preparing all the correct ratios and budgets and such. And from that, we're able to now validate that these numbers are accurate because a third party who's not involved in the numbers is able to record that they're done uh, correctly and accurately. That certification is oftentimes used in banking institutions or at the cell of a business and so forth. They have a place, but that's the role of the CPA is to come in and analyze that. Now, oftentimes CPAs will do what's called write-up work or bookkeeping. Oftentimes CPAs will do accounting work the accountant, but the CPA when performing that audit role, that's when they're doing something that is unique. Now the other happens to be an enrolled agent. There is a tax preparer. A tax preparer can actually be involved with tax planning, and tax planning can also be someone that is doing the tax preparation, taking all the numbers that the bookkeeper has prepared and actually filling out the forms and filing the tax return. But when it involves an an audit or a person that is now dealing directly with the IRS, they can have someone work with them or represent them before the IRS. And that's where an enrolled agent comes in or a CPA can step in or a, an attorney can step in. And with the business client, actually work with and interact with the IRS through an audit. So these are different titles and roles that I'm sure you're familiar with, but when we're trying to explain them to a business owner, it's important that we look at it through their eyes and try and explain why each one is different and unique and what role they're each fulfilling. Oftentimes for small businesses, they won't need a CPA in the capacity of doing audits. Audits aren't going to be necessary. So the, the value of that CPA credential becomes less significant only because of the fact that the audit isn't there. Now, is the service that they're able to provide valuable and important? Yes, because they're able to come in with that perspective when preparing the books. But can the bookkeeper prepare the financials? Of course. Can the accountant prepare the financials? Of course. Can they review the financials? 
commercials? Of course. Can they translate and interpret them? Of course. Can the CPA also do the same? Of course. So I'm hoping you can see this layered out. There are ways that we can actually describe this so that the business owner can more, more intelligently know which are they wanting and needing to run their business and are they willing to pay for what service now as you are hearing this and contemplating what your services will be and what you're willing to do for your clients whether you're going to be a bookkeeper for your clients an accountant for your clients this is important to realize because it affects your marketing it affects your your sales presentation the services you're going to be billing for so if you'd like obviously reach out to your coach and kind of talk through what it is they do and how they present these services to their clients and more importantly can Consider what it is you feel that you're able to confidently and competently perform. And that will allow you to properly sell your services and under promise and over deliver in the end. All these things are quite critical. So just understand this. Everything here is key to you explaining and setting the expectations of your client as you're working with them. Just realize this. If it's about accounting, it's universal. Take care.